Be gone, foul demon. Demons have been defeated. Ooh. Got a manuscript over here. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, wake attack by a possessed object. Hmm. Merchant me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flash on it, shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I mean I could see a railway bridge up ahead. If you warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car for Oh okay, I need to go. Ah oh, okay, there's a bridge there's a there's a thing here. A ladder. That's the word I'm looking for is a ladder here. Follow Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with you. It's the way I wanna go. See that? The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in the But yeah, have that. Just play with that. Yeah, you used to, you used to just play with that. There we go. Ow! It was mean. Technically, this part of the game, right? If anyone can remember um, the TV program Captain um, Captain Planet, right? Captain Planet was a really dodgy um, kids' cartoon from like nineties, I think it was. And uh, basically, it was these five kids, I think it was, and they all had rings. Like one had the heart ring, and he could talk to animals and stuff like that. And um, they, when they combined all the rings together, they would like come together and make uh, Captain Planet the world's greatest hero or something like that. But his his weakness was um, was 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 rubbish, um, yeah. Any trash or um, rubbish or anything like that would weaken him and could kill him. So th in theory, this darkness at this moment in time, using random bits of rubbish at this moment in time to to throw it at you, is uh, probably Captain Planet's like worst enemy. Yeah. It'd be like his natural, like his nemesis. I mean, probably the worst superhero I've ever heard of, though, because, like, literally you could defeat him just by... Oh, switch to that heavy-duty one. Yes, please. Slow down here. You could defeat him just by picking anything out of your pocket, saying, I don't want this anymore, and then throwing it at him. In theory, because it would then become rubbish by saying you don't want it anymore. Uh, does that explode? Yes. Okay. That answers that question. And yeah, something something sounds like it's breathing. Oh. Oh, can I, can I, can I, ah, uh, 
I literally just got trapped in the corner there. That was a bit of annoying. Right. Right. Switch to you. Gonna get my shotgun out. Grab this flare. Okay. Right. Right. Get out of it. Well, I mean, the the double tap on the uh, on the canisters was pretty good, pretty good. Um, kind of fluked that. I'm not going to lie. Right, go back to the revolver. Sit down. Jesus. I mean, the amount of people you're killing in this game, though, like the taking and stuff like that, like you purify, I should say, not kill. You purify them. Uh, like, there must only be like three people left in, in light you can hurt them. There must only be. It's kind of weird tip to be given us now when we're like nearly through the game. Well, we're a fair period through the game. Um. Yeah, there must only be like three people left or something. Okay. Oh, manuscript page. Let's have a look to see one. Wake attacked by the dark presence. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell to all the dark waters of the lake far below. Okay. Yeah, I know something happens here. Right, we've, we've taken care of the big thing, and I got hit a couple of times, but I think I went over wall, over, overall that went alright, like, didn't die, I just juked it. It's a problem if you, uh, if you inhabit something that has a turning circle of the earth, it's uh, pretty easy to, to, like, juke you. Uh, I don't think I need much else, but that's... Yeah, I don't need revolver ammo. That's fine. Find a vehicle. I mean, we just found one, but we made it disappear. Okay. Hey, well, there's a vehicle. Oop, thermos. First time I played through this, I actually, I've come to realise how much I actually missed because 
there's no way in hell I found that many that many thermoses. Like no, I missed so many thermoses the first time I played this. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. <coughs> the coal mine wasn't far now. Okay. Today, I would You're moving. Stop it. would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Can I steal that car? I can. <laughs> Grand Theft, Alan Wake. Uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, this is what we want. I have a feeling that there's stuff up there. Just get the feeling that they're not going to put stairs there unless there's something at the top of these stairs. Hmm. Is there anything here? No manuscripts? Nothing? Oh, shack. Must be stuff inside of a shack. Right. There's another vehicle, so that's fine. Uh, there's a radio. Is that it? We're not even really stealing the cars and moving them far. We're just moving them far enough to be a nuisance and make you probably question whether you parked it there or not. Right. You know, like moving it like a couple of feet so you, your mind doesn't register that it's actually been moved by someone else and you think, did I actually park there? Oops, I didn't mean to get out. Okay, get back in. Let's go. Right. There's a little tower thing up here, so uh, we'll take that car as well. So we're gonna go up to that. I think is this not where I was before? No? Yeah, we're gonna take this car. I think. If we need to drive any further then I'm taking that car. Um, no, this isn't where I was before. No. Nothing here, though. Absolutely nothing. Okay. No thermoses, nothing. Okay, it's fine. We'll take the. It looks like a bit like a Camaro. Uh, yeah, probably a muscle car. Look at mother. Um, okay, do we. Is it so much stuff to check? I'm pretty sure the last time, I, the first time I played this, I'm pretty sure I just drove. So we're, we're checking everything this time. Um, anything here? Um, no. Maybe. Maybe at the top. Hmm. Come on. You can't be that tired. Come on. Jesus. Nope. Uh, manuscript page. Mot on the ferry. Vermont, the spy of the night was buried and then it disappeared. His boss had been awakened to make some things back. But Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look of the wife and he might be soft. Mott had fantasized about going to make it to a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see it. 
He had been promised as much.